Welcome to my new video. In this video I will explain the cron expression function. Let's go. After a bot has been implemented in UI path, you come to the point scheduling in orchestrator. There are a few settings in orchestrator for scheduling a bot. These are as follows, every minute, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. With the standard functions you can adjust a lot, but when it comes to any complex time, these functions are not enough. Therefore there is the option to set the times with cron expression. Cron is a software utility, present in Unix-like operating systems, used for time-based scheduling. This function in orchestrator consists of seven parts. These are, seconds, minutes, hours, day of month, month, day of week and year. You have to fill in the values for the respective fields in this order, that means the seconds come first, then the minutes, then the hours, etc. All fields are required except for the year field. This can be entered, but it does not necessarily have to be entered. Here is an example of a cron expression, which means that in January of 2021 the bot should only run every 10 minutes between 5 and 7 a.m. on Wednesdays. But how do I know what, and how to fill in these different fields, so that I can set the time I am looking for? I will explain this to you in detail so that at the end of the video you no longer have to use an online cron expression generator, but you can enter this directly in orchestrator. First let me show you what can be entered in each field. Seconds field, we already know that 1 minute consists of 60 seconds and therefore all numbers between 0 and 59 can be entered in this field. Minutes field, an hour also consists of 60 minutes and therefore only the numbers between 0 and 59 can be entered here. Hours field, a day consists of 24 hours and therefore numbers between 0 and 23 can be entered in this field. Day of the month field, a month can consist of a maximum of 31 days, so the numbers 1 to 31 can be entered in this field. Month field, either the numbers 1 to 12, or the abbreviations for the months, such as Jan for January, Feb for February, etc. can be entered in this field. Day of the week field, either the numbers 1 to 7 can be entered here or the abbreviations for the days, such as, Moan for Monday, Wed for Wednesday, etc. If you want to work with numbers, 1 stands for Sunday, 2 for Monday, 3 for Tuesday, etc. The last field is year, as already mentioned. This field is not necessary. You can enter this, but you don't have to do it. Numbers between 1970 and 2099 can be entered in this field. After I have shown you what can be entered in each field, I will now show you the characters that are also entered in these fields so that more specifications can be determined for the times. These are necessary if you want to trigger the bot every 10 minutes for example. The following characters are available in cron expression. Star Question mark Minus Comma Slash L W Hashtag Star means all. Star used to indicate all values for the given field. If a star is set in seconds field, it means that the bot should be triggered every second. If this is set in the hours field, it means every hour. This is how it is interpreted depending on the field in which it is entered. Star characters can be used in any of the seven fields. Question mark used to indicate that no value is specified may be used only in the day of the month or day of the week fields. 00715 star question mark star means that the bot should be triggered on the 15th day of each month at 7 a.m. Here we have replaced the day of a week with question mark so that the day is not relevant to us. The main thing is that it is the 15th day of the month. But if we replace the day of the month with question marks and specify a certain day, for example, 
007 question mark star 2 star, then that means that the bot should be triggered every Monday at 7 a.m. Minus, used to indicate a range of values. For example, we want to trigger the bot between 2 and 4 o'clock, then we set the hours field with 2 minus 3. This means that the bot will be triggered between 2 and 3.59 a.m. Comma, used to indicate additional values. For example, we only want to trigger the bot on Mondays and Fridays, then we fill in the day of the week field with MON, comma, FRI. So the bot is only triggered on Mondays and Fridays. Slash, used to indicate increments of the given field. This is used like this, if we want to run the bot every 10 minutes, for example, starting from the minute 0 in the hour, then we set the minutes field as follows, 0 slash 10. If we want to run the bot every 2 hours, then we set the hours field to 0 slash 2. 0 at the beginning in minutes field means that we want to start from minute 0 or from hour 0 if this is in the hour field. L, used to indicate last. May be used only in the day of the month or day of the week fields. For day of the week, it can be used after another value, for example 6, L, to indicate the last Friday. W, used to indicate the nearest weekday to the given value. May only be used with the day of the month field. For example, if we set the time as follows, it means that the bot will always run on the 15th of the month. But if we put 15 with W, then this is interpreted as follows, if the 15th is a Saturday, the bot will be started on the 14th, namely on Friday. If the 15th is a Sunday, the bot will start on the 16th, on Monday. Hashtag, used to indicate a desired monthly occurrence of the given value, for example the first Friday, or fourth Thursday, may only be used with the day of the week field. For example, 0017 question mark star 6 hashtag 1 would trigger at 5 p.m. on the first Friday of every month. Before we start with the examples, I will summarize the points for you. Seconds field is mandatory. Only numbers between 0 and 59 are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Minutes field is mandatory. Only numbers between 0 and 59 are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Hours field is mandatory. Only numbers between 0 and 23 are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Day of month field is mandatory. Only numbers between 1 and 31 are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Month field is mandatory. Numbers between 1 and 12, or the abbreviations for the months are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Day of week field is mandatory. Numbers between 1 and 7, or the abbreviations for the days are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Year field is not mandatory. Can be left blank or only numbers between 1970 and 2099 are allowed. The following characters are allowed for this field. Now I'm going to go through a few examples with you to show you how to use the cron expressions. Let's go. I will first show you the time we want to set. Then I will fill in the various fields one by one. First example, every day at 4 a.m. Zero in seconds field means that it is at second zero. Zero in minutes field means that it is at minute zero. Four in hours field means it's at four o'clock. Star in the day of the month field means that it should be triggered in every day of the month. Star in month field means it is monthly. Question mark in the day of the week field means that no specific day is set, so no matter what day this is, the bot will be started. Second example, Monday to Friday at 6 p.m. Zero in seconds field means that it is at second zero. Zero in minutes field means that it is at minute zero. 18 in hours field means it is at 6 p.m. Question mark in the day of the month field means that no specific day of the month has been specified. Star in month field means it is monthly. 2 minus 6 in the day of the week field means that the bot is only started on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. 
Here we have the number 2 for Monday, the number 6 for Friday and the minus to define the range between Monday and Friday. Third example, every 15 minutes every day between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., 0 in seconds field means that it is at second 0. 0 slash 15 in minutes field means it is every 15 minutes, starting from minute 0. The 8 minus 19 in hours field means that it is between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., Star in the day of the month field means that it should be triggered in every day of the month. Star in month field means it is monthly. Question mark in the day of the week field means that no specific day has been specified. Fourth example, Mondays at 7.30 a.m. Zero in seconds field means that it is at second zero. 30 in minutes field means that at island in the 30th minute, 7 in hours field means it is 7 o'clock. Question mark in the day of the month field means that no specific day of the month has been specified. Star in month field means it is monthly. 2 in the day of the week field means that it is Monday because the number 2 stands for Monday. Fifth example, every 2 days at 6 a.m. and 2 p.m., 0 in seconds field means that it is at second 0. 0 in minutes field means that it is at minute 0. 6,14 6,14 in hours field means it is at 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. 1 slash 2 in the day of the month field means that it is every two days, starting from the first day of the respective month. Star in month field means it is monthly. Question mark in the day of the week field means that no specific day has been specified. Sixth example, only Mondays in January at 9 a.m. 0 in seconds field means that it is at second zero. 0 in minutes field means that it is at minute 0. The 9 in hours field means that it is 9 a.m. Question mark in the day of the month field means that no specific day of the month has been specified. 1 in month field means that it is only in January. 2 in the day of the week field means that it is Monday only. 7th example, every day at 6 a.m. and 10 minutes and 15 seconds. 15 in seconds field means that it is at 15 seconds. 10 in minutes field means that it is at 10 minutes. The 6 in hours field means that it is at 6 a.m. Star in the day of the month field means that it should be triggered in every day of the month. Star in month field means it is monthly. Question mark in the day of the week field means that no specific day is set, so no matter what day this is, the bot will be started. The 8th and last example in this video, every Friday at 7 a.m., only in the year 2022, 0 in seconds field means that it is at second 0. 0 in minutes field means that it is at minute 0. 7 in hours field means it is 7 a.m. Question mark in the day of the month field means that no specific day of the month has been specified. Star in month field means it is monthly. 6 in the day of the week field means that it is Friday because the number 6 stands for Friday. 2022 in the year field means that it should only be triggered in 2022. As we can see in all examples, the fields, day of week and day of month can never both be filled in with a star. One should always be filled in with a star or with content, and the other with a question mark. This means that either the day of week field is filled with a star for example, and the day of month field with a question mark, or the day of month field with a star, and the day of week field with a question mark. Now we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video and you can take something out of it. See you in the next video.